Hi YouTube. Most of you are probably unaware that there was a rally in Maryland's capital of Annapolis today concerning the new gun regulations that they want to impose. Um, Maryland is, in my opinion, imposing some very strict changes to their gun regulations and I will have a lot of links or a number of links posted below. Um, I think part of why Maryland is being a targeted state right now is because we're so close to DC. You know, obviously like the first line of defense. I think what they're failing to recognize is that we have a lot of constitution-loving gun-toting rednecks here in Maryland and I don't think that we're going to give our guns up quite as easily as they would like. I have a number of other posts that I'm going to put below that all have to do with gun regulations and confiscation and a couple of interesting things such as Sarah Palin admitting or saying that she thinks that the reason the feds are stocking st stocking excuse me ammunition is to use against us if there's a financial implosion or whatever um, I have a DOJ m memo talking about outlawing and confiscating guns. Um, whether or not you take any of this seriously, you have to admit that they just continue to chip away at our rights. I believe that anyone who owns a gun should continue to do so. I think you need to be concerned about definitions like, for instance, uh, you cannot purchase a gun if you're an alcohol abuser. Okay, what does that mean? I have two drinks a day. Does it mean I was pulled over for a DWI and convicted of it? Does it mean that I'm violent and commit crimes when I'm drunk? I mean, what does that mean? I, I you know, there, there's a lot of very unclear terminology and please pay close attention to my first link that shows the Maryland law as it was and the Maryland law as it's proposed. It has not been signed yet, but it's a gnat's breath away. I have no reason to believe that it's not going to pass. And look at the terminology, look at the changes, and also look at the proposed federal changes. If you folks think that this is not going to happen your, in your state, think again. If you think because you're in Montana it's not going to happen, think again. It's coming. It's going to happen. And we all need to wrap our brains around it and decide how we're going to react when it does happen. That's the tough spot. That's the hard spot. But please, please, please read the links below. A couple of these, by the way, I got from Make Hay Electric. If you're not subscribed to him, he does a great report, I think, once a week, the Jericho Report. And he just links a whole bunch of stuff and talks about interesting topics going on. So anyway, the links will be below, and of course I'd love to hear your comments. And please, folks, be prepared. Stock up anything you can. Food, ammo, medical supplies, whatever you think is necessary. Please, 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 if you haven't started, start now. And if you'd like to lend your voice, and you never have before, please start. And if you need help knowing how to do that, I'd be happy to help you. Take good care, folks.